Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Knievel episode 19. I'm in the Lugia and last time we as good as finished up around Hillis. We got all the pearls except for the ones Francis has and the treasure hidden in the volcano. And the only animals that are remaining are the Mamago guys and some unknown creature in the volcano that I can't remember. But we'll get to that when we get to that. But first, because first we're going hunting for the Beluga. Spaceship that brought Paige and Jade here 20 years ago. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been here in so long, so that, that camera angle caught me off guard. Okay, for a bit of a refresh course, let's go play the M Disc 4 Jade again. Can I shut... Can I shut the audio off? No, I can only shut the video of that guy off. Yeah, I don't want to see his face or hear his voice after he chased us down with a mother flipping gunship. Okay. Jade, 20 years we can't, but the conflict, it's the balloon. I can't, no matter what happens. Good. This is the end. Yeah. So, let's go investigate the billboards around the place. Because we all, we know that there are two. We've seen, you could have seen them. What's all this mumbo jumbo about shoes? You have any idea? Yeah, another hint, but yeah. Ta-da! Hidden console. But, it requires a code, which we do not have. And yeah, nil code doesn't work. There's another one up in the fire... in the... Uh, <clears throat> in the lighthouse. So, let's go look for that one as well. And also chat up a bit with the kids. I should have I should have been here more often. To chat with them, see if there's any new new they could talk set. And Dennis Dennis Yari gives us hints. And her her English has improved quite much. Not completely. Oh, she is. She hasn't. You can't really improve your English completely. Yeah. This place always cheers me up a bit. I always, I always liked it. Uh, Fen and. Uh, Sorry, but I've kind of forgotten your name for a second. <laughs> We've been away too long. Join the Alpha sections, and together we will overcome. Join the Alpha sections. Yeah, we don't want the kids to worry about Paige disappearing. Paige deep being taken away by the Doms. They already have it hard enough with their you know, with their real parents being taken away. But will you just shut the hell up on the radio? <clears throat> yeah, it's already hard enough for them to lose their parents to the, uh, the dumps, but to lose their, one of their adoptive parents or caretakers, guardians. Yeah, that would shatter them even. Uh, would just, no, just don't. And yeah, that was a reference to Dob. I must call him Double H again. Oh, hey, hey, look who popped up. Once again, reared its ugly head, striking the civilian population. Luckily, our elite forces have once again. Yeah, I should hang out with the kids more often when I play the game in this game because I, so, yeah, I always forget one or two of their names. It's Ben. What was her name again? What was her name again? Uh, can't remember. Yeah, here's the second board. And well, I'm guessing you could probably think of where. 
the hand where the codes for these things are because they aren't around well, they are around the, the lighthouse but they aren't as well either why because we have these the jet boots ta-da there are the codes you could all, you could have caught a glimpse of them the first time we got it but you probably would have thought it was some sort of pan and uh, just pan on the back uh, yeah h a eight s5 let's try that one here H8 S5 Yes! Triumphant music just over uh, just going over everything else. But yeah, there's a reason I you there's a reason I did that one first and this one will be the second and last of course. Because there's only two boards, because there are two shows. Uh, yeah, if we had done this one first, we'd have to backtrack back down and just uh, Perfect. Now we just have to find where to enter the second code. Uh Hub, you've been paying attention. We found this one first. Uh, ah, didn't look at the uh, didn't look at the code. Uh, Jim, no. stuttering again. No, just look at them. K H K eight S four. And there she is, the beluga. Do you have anything to say, Hub? No. Twenty years? Paige, you've been hiding this from me for the past twenty years. I'm sure he was just trying to protect you. Let's uh, see if she runs. Control it. If we want to get off the ground, we're gonna need one flight stabilizer for each reactor. Yeah. Now, one little thing that I've just thought up is that the beluga needs to be hook, you know, hooks up with the the hovercrafts. But that would mean that the Paige and uh, Jason's parents had the hovercraft before the uh, the beluga. Good work. So that would make their home planet uh, also an aquatic, quite aquatic world. Never really thought that one completely through, but uh, and I'm not really known for thinking things through t yeah, that much. And when I do, I often think through a bit uh, too much. So I might as well just stop at you know, stop it right there because that's all the evidence I have. Hovercraft for the Beluga means uh, an aquatic uh, home planet. That would be the most logical conclusion. But it could also just be that there was a lot. They just had a hovercraft for some reason or another. Yeah, which the best reason would be that there's, in like Halis, a lot of water to traverse. I'll just drop it. Go, better call Mama go. Okay. Now I could have sworn that I had taken a picture of these guys before, of Babukar and Babaku, Bab Babukar, yes, back at the pedestrian district, but seems not. Rhinoceros sapiens. Perfect. I'll add it to the list. Only two left. Okay. Uh, maybe that was during one of the uh, scraps yeah, recordings that I had. I'd done it, uh, gotten a photograph of Bubble Crush so often that I just forgot to take one.
You mean the roof that has a hole in it, huh? Right? That doesn't seem so safe, but uh, okay, your stuff has worked for us so far, so no reason to doubt. Yeah, no reason for doubt, says who. Again, not completely fluent in English. And yes, we'll need this baby, which will be our trans our ticket into space. And with that, the moon. But, as you can see, we need two more pearls. And, oh, here's another you know, vending machine here. A uh, bunch of sets of pods, kebabs, and a boost. Nothing I really need. And or at least I think so. Uh, got more than enough food at the moment. More than I probably need. And I think I have quite enough uh, repair re yeah, repair items for the, the hovercraft itself. So yeah, let's go back and put that. Let's go back and put that stabilizer in its place so we can use the beluga, fly around the place. Double H, the lighthouse. They destroyed it. The kids. Quickly, Miss J. There still may be time. The door's closed. What's been going on around here? No, 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 no! Pablo? Ben? Yoa! Careful, Miss Jade. The Alpha sections may still be there. Double H! They've taken the children! Anybody here? Umi! Zaza! Poor Woof. I know how you are. You tried to help them. You told yourself that you wouldn't let them come to any harm. That you'd be there to protect them. I know, boy. But that isn't what actually happened. The kids are gone. And you... You couldn't do anything. You're, you're here. Alive and well. Who do you think you are? Did you think you'd actually be able to make a difference? Well, Woof. <laughs> you were wrong, boy. Completely and utterly wrong. There's nothing anyone can do. There's nothing anyone can do. We must go now, Miss Jade. It's over, Double H. Finished. They're still alive, Miss Jade. Paige, the kids, they're all still alive.
Uh, even knew I this was you know, I knew this was coming. I still feel guilty for forgetting a few of their names. I still knew uh, remembered who they were when their names came around. But still, to be honest, I haven't cried in ages. But this always gets me as close as it comes. And of course, one of these sons uh, guns pales in you know, space. Well, not really a face, but yeah. These pop up to piss me off. And believe me, the first time I fought these things, I fought it with a vengeance. I just was so enraged by the kidnapping of the kids. This thing, if it were real, it would have regretted the day it was ever made. Same goes for these guys. Yeah, not much of a challenge. Keep moving and shoot them when they stop. And another one shows up. I hate these things. Just for showing up here, and this you know, guy starts to acting smart and doing loops. And that was a first! That was the first time that I actually managed to get one down in such a short time. But enough about that. We have some kids to save. Now that I think about it, couldn't, wouldn't be you be able to just run straight in here? The Beluga, the bearer of hope for all of Hillis. As this is the only means we have to get to the, the to those yeah that no have been taken. No way you're getting me back into that hunk of junk. Not until it's completely fit for action. Okay, that's a new one. Breaking the fourth wall, March Jade. That should do it. The ship is now in full working order. I'm to take a test flight. Now that we have the beluga, there should be something popping up in a short while. Yeah, there we go! Ah, son of a gun! Okay, this is the final sea serpent. And as you can see, this one is also dropping some sort of air mines. Okay, but other, than, other than that, it's pretty much the same. Now, how does... How does the Beluga steer? It steers like an airplane with up and down, with up and down reversed. So that might screw you up. But not, not, now if you, no, 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 it's, 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 it's normal. It's just that usually it's reverse of the reverse that I'm thinking about. Usually when you're uh, steering an aircraft, up is down and, and down is up. So, yeah. Cool it, Caterpillar Boy. And there we go. Another Daniel's Pearl. And only one more needed for the space engine. 
and the demise of the Alphas. Now, again, let me go over the controls a bit more. As I said, uh, pointing the mouse up, it looks up, pointing down, it looks down, left and right are the same. Uh, as you can sort of see, the Beluga constantly moves forward at a slow pace. You can, uh, you can also steer with WSD or mouse keys, as whatever you use. It's the same, down is down, up is up. And with the space bar, you, give, uh, you punch it. You, when you get uh, close to uh, the surface of water, you can release the hovercraft. And we're at the time limit, so I'll just keep it at that. There we go, release with the right mouse button. If we're too high or the space is too small, it'll just say, uh, can't do that, I can't let you do that, Jade. But yeah, this is where we'll be getting the last pearls we need, the volcano's treasure. But as I said, we're at the time limit, so a little bit over. You're going to have to be very careful. They say the treasure is guarded by a colony of Krochaks. And I believe that over there is the second to last animal we have. You know, that we can photograph. But let's, uh, as I said, time limit. So thank you all for watching. This has been Let's Play Beyond Evil. Next time we're getting the pearls from this place and we're getting to space. Or at least we'll get the space engine. So, thank you all for watching again. And until next time, until then, have a nice day and goodbye.